Hello YouTube and the tribe of the horror realm. Um, this is a video response to Andrew Ballina's um, Halloween ranking them least to favorite. And he had asked me to um, give my feedback because um, one of the things that you know, the YouTube horror community is a really, really strong, great thing. And, of course, there is that little subgrouping of the Halloween heads um, that, you know, we just love the film so much and we just go gaga over it and stuff. So, um, I've seen a lot of the videos. They're great to watch. Um, and as I commented, some people kind of pulled punches. They were, you know, they're like, well, I kind of like this movie, even though it was their least favorite movie. Personally, my least favorite movie, I don't like it. And So, anyways... I'm just going to run through them real quick. I'm on my lunch break. Got to do this quick. Um, anyhow, um, <clears throat> that being said, the first movie or least favorite movie I have, or don't have, from the Halloween franchise, and there's good reason I don't have it, can't stand it, is Halloween Resurrection. Uh, freaking, just, it's just retarded. You know, Buster Rhymes. I mean, honestly... You know, Buster Rhymes is to Halloween what freaking, I don't know, what Buster Rhymes is to Halloween. He has no place in it. Uh, I don't even want him watching the movie, the original one. He has no right to. F him. Um, and then to make him actually like, I mean, yeah, you want to put him in there and then have him get a knife to the throat, I'm all for it. But having him freaking kung fuing Michael Myers, come on retarded. Uh, so that's the absolute worst one. So, the next one from this thing, and I'm not going to really get into, I'll call, I didn't throw in a lot of the um, uh, uncuts or, uh, you know, alternate versions of them, but, I, you know, I'll make mention of them or something like that if they elevate and all. So the next one, Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's version. Now, if anyone has seen... Um, knows my stance. I'm not a Rob Zombie Halloween guy. I think he kind of missed the boat on it. Yes, he did his own version, but I think his own version kind of sucks. Um, Halloween 2, it just was, it went from bad to worse. So, um, you know, this is the unrated director's cut. I know that some said the, the theatrical cut is much better. Um, I guess we shall see. And maybe I'll actually go out and and you know, spend the extra buck or two to, to get the theatrical cut, cut and take a look at it. But, anyways, that's the worst. Second worst. Next is, well, this is, again, this is the work print edition of Halloween. I kind of made Michael a little more kind of gentler, I guess. You know, with little th subtle things like not killing Danny Trejo's character and stuff like that, but um, Halloween Rob Zombie, I just think he misses the boat. Again, I did a video about it. I mean, he gives this kid this horrible backstory. I'd turn into a freaking psychopath if I lived that kid's life. So, it's not really that far of a reach where carpenters happen in a white picket, perfectly normal neighborhood, and it still manifested itself. Now, that is frightening. So, third, Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, the next one that I really didn't care for would, and is, this, it's going to kind of go back and forth, is Halloween 6. Um, oh, Halloween 6. Um, just discombobulated, absolute kind of dreck. Curse of Michael Myers was really a bad movie. Um. And this is the problem sometimes when you're making sequels, is directors kind of don't even follow what the other guy did. You know, you look at Friday the 13th movies, and, you know, the Jasons don't even look the same from the prior film. It's like, you really, I mean, it's an ego thing, I, I honestly think. Um, you really need to freaking try to have some continuity. And this thing is just absolute garbage. And um, the reason I say this is because I'm going to just actually... Uh, bring in another film after this. Uh, I'm going to go back to this one in a second. So, after Halloween 6, and I don't own it, and I know some people really like it, is Halloween H2O. Really, the reason for that is Josh Hartnett. 
that kid, I just want to slap him every time I see him. I don't want to punch him. I don't want to friggin' kick him. I want to slap him like a little bitch. He just has this little smarmy look that just makes you want to go up and just slap him. You know, and uh, so it just, that alone made me like just grind through H2O. So maybe I'll look at it again and I'll try to suppress my um, slap fetish for that little wanker. So after that, then we get to Halloween, the producer's cut of Halloween 6, or 666. Now, I know I said I'm not going to really delve too much into variations of the movie, um, but I think the producer's cut is just so much better that it, it kind of elevates the movie. It really makes it leapfrog over um, H2O, in my opinion. So that's why I kind of did the little thing there. So Halloween 6 would actually be a little better if it was the producer cut. Next is Halloween 2. Whether it's your TV cut or the re this one. I don't think the TV cut really makes a difference in my opinion. Um, the reason I rank it here is um, as a direct follow-up to Halloween 1, I found that um, it just went for, like, a gore effect. Like, the kid coming out with a razor blade in his mouth had nothing to do with the story. Added nothing to do with it. It just made... It was just there so you could show a kid chewing a razor blade. Um, now, the other thing was... And as much as I really like Dick Wallach, he is a great guy. It's like Minnie Myers. He's just not imposing. Um, and when I was younger, I really enjoyed the movie and all... Um, you know, uh, the girl in the hot tub scene, it's like, oh, great, nice boobs. Now it's like, you look at it as a fact, it's like, that's eh, alright, it's just kind of like, done to be gory. So, this one ranked a little lower. Next, Halloween 5. Um, because it becomes so convoluted, it ranked really low, and I like... Like a lot of other guys on here, we, I like Dan, uh, Daniel Harris's character, Jamie Lloyd, um, but it was just the whole man in black thing, and where it was supposed to go, I talked with Don Shanks about it, he actually p portrayed the man in black as well as Michael Myers, and there was going to be one point where um, he's, re he's revealed, uh, and you'd see the man in black's face, and then eventually Michael Myers would get unmasked, and it's the same person, and they'd be looking at each other. So, it, it, I mean, this thing just was gonna, it was just really out there. So, Dominique was just, I don't know, he just smoked way too much weed. Um, next, Halloween 3. Now, I know a lot of people do not like this because it doesn't have Michael Myers, but as a standalone horror movie, if you release this as Season of the Witch, this thing would be fantastic. Um, so, and this one, if I, if I did this years ago, Halloween 2 would trump this one so much more. But I've grown to really enjoy Halloween 3. Um, so this one actually ranks a lot higher for me. Um, and this is no surprise since the process of elimination. Um, Halloween 4, uh, just a phenomenal film. Great atmosphere. Really just well done. Jamie Lloyd. Uh, played by Daniel Harris, just knocked it out of the ballpark. Um, you know, I, I liked uh, the characters involved. I mean, get me wrong, Halloween 5, I liked the characters. I liked Wendy Kaplan's character and all that. It was just the director just kind of screwed it all up. This one, very, just really well done. And then, of course, lastly, if you've seen a lot of the videos, you know I go... Gaga for, or, I don't know, haha -ha for Halloween. And um, whether it's the extended cut or the original cut, I just never get tired of watching this this movie. Um, I watch it at least a few times a year. So um, that's a lot considering how many movies I have to watch. So that's my uh, input for the Halloween movies. Um, Andrew, thank you very much. If you, anyone hasn't subbed Andrew, uh, you, you, I'm sure you guys have, because this guy is well-known in the YouTube community, especially in the horror community. He's a great guy. Um, you should check him out. Uh, he's a friend to all. So, again, thank you very much for your time, and have a great day. Bye.